Insights of All Trades podcast. What do you think of insects as a food source? So there's these things called um, exoprotein, like cricket protein bars. And mm-hmm. also whenever I was down in Panama, there were some people that would just eat termites off the trees or whatever. Which, which and, I've done. Yeah. And yeah. They, what is it? They said it tastes like, some said spicy, some said like a pineapple. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's that's called entomophagy Okay, is the, the proper term. I, incidentally, I just wrote a piece on that. I have a monthly column with Ag Daily. Ah. So if any of your listenership yeah, is interested, definitely. just look up Tim Durham, Plant MD, Ag Daily. All right. Yeah. Dot com. And I, it, was, it was either two or three months ago I wrote on this specifically. So if you look at the amount of, of energy that you have to invest to basically fatten up an insect compared to, say, a chicken, a pig, a beef cow, etc. It's mm. significantly less energetically intensive. Okay. And they could still provide, you know, the full assortment of amino acids. It's mm. it's complete yeah. nutrition. Interesting. So it's it's almost it's puzzling to me why we don't do it already, yeah. and I think it's just the the ick factor. Probably. It's yeah. cultural, yeah. right? So if you go to South America or select regions of Asia, even, you know, the African continent, yeah. entomophagy is the norm. Huh. They don't mind. So what do termites taste like to you? Do you know hmm. <laughs> anything or do they just taste I, like I couldn't nuts? really peg them to anything okay. specifically. I, I, but it's not like an ick thing. Like, no. You don't have to spit it up right No, away. not yeah. at all. I mean, I've, yeah, termites I've eaten. I've eaten grubs, um, hmm. crickets. Wow. It, it, I think it's just how you... It is definitely a cultural thing. It is a cultural thing. How you prepare them. Okay. So, you know, as is whole, unlike, you know, skewers like shish kebab, Mm. I don't think that would necessarily (laughs) fly for most people. Probably not. But if you were to kind of grow them in these big insectaries, these big mass rearing facilities and kind of, you know, kill them and just dry them down and kind of pulverize them into like a protein powder and then incorporate that into breads or something else. Or like these bars. Or these bars. That would be a more efficient way. Did you see uh, Blade Runner, was it 2049? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen that one? Mm -hmm. The beginning of the movie actually starts with that oh, kind right. of scenario where oh, there's cool. it's it's Dave Batista the wrestler yeah basically he's he's growing they look like little grubs I didn't really get a good shot of them <laughs> but they look like little beetle grubs basically in kind of the the outskirts of Los Angeles this desolate wasteland that he had converted into a a protein farm in essence wow. so it seems that that was the tact that they decided to take. Hmm. to satisfy their protein needs. Yeah. Well, so maybe that's kind of prophetic. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something definitely we should look into. I think more. we should investigate it. And it kind of goes along the lines with like, well, similarly, I guess, with bees, how they make honey, um, and we can right. ingest that. 